Greetings to you. Welcome to Physics with Ben. In today's video, I want to teach you how to find the refractive index of a rectangular glass block. Uh, in other words, to verify Snell's law. The refractive index of a glass ranges from the value 1.5 to 1.7. So this is what we want to verify in this experiment. Using the equation refractive index from air to glass is equal to the sine of I divided by the sine of R, where I is the angle of incidence and R is the angle of refraction. So, let's get straight to the points. Uh, in this experiment, short experiment, the apparatus need, need a rectangular glass block. We need four optical pins. Uh, we now select straight ones. Yep. We need four optical pins. We are good. We need a protractor to measure the angle of incidence and angle of refraction. We need a ruler. And then we need we need four thumb pins. One, two, three, and four. Uh, one again, we need. We need a calculator. We need a very sharp pencil, and that is one of the precautions. The pencil you are using must be very, very sharp. So. Then last but not the least, you need an A4 paper to, for your traces. So the first thing first is we are going to fasten uh, this paper to this board. Yep. So that the paper does not move during the experiment. That is step one. Step number two. Draw the outline of the rectangular glass block. This is how you do it. You place one of your, your finger here, and then you draw the outline. Remove the block. You don't hold it like this. You hold it from the edge, like this, to this side. Let's level it A, B, C, and D. Good. The next step. The next step is to draw a normal perpendicular to surface A, B. Uh, this normal you can choose it to be here or here but let's put it somewhere here so to make the normal to be perpendicular I have to use a protractor put a dot up here at angle 90 and then a dot down here then draw your normal straight down Let's call this normal N O. So the next is to align the protractor to the 90 degrees of view on this normal, then choose any angle of incidence. So let's choose I, our I in this case, we want our I to be, let's say, 30 degrees. 30 degrees. So we place this guy back to this place. Good. And then this is we count anti clockwise. This is 10, 20, and 30. 
30 is at the, as the 60th degree mark. So this is 30. We put a mark here, we take it away. The next thing is you bring back this ruler and you place it here. And then you draw a straight line, supposing to be your incident ray. Don't forget this is the air media and this is the glass media and then this is the air media again. So you draw a straight line down to this place. On reaching the glass, the, the, the glass block medium, the glass media, you have to put a dot, 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 dot. Line. That is, if this glass was not so, was not here, this is the path this light was supposed to follow. Good. The next thing is to is to put two optical pins. Place one here. Let them be four cm apart. Let them be straight up. So. This is our uh, pin 1. We we'll insert pin 2 at 40 cm. Uh, pin 2 is, is 4 cm, sorry. This is where the 4 cm is. You place your pin 2 on top of the line. You make sure everything is on a straight line. You can see that. And so this is, our, this is our pin 3, I mean pin 2. So the next stage is to replace, don't forget, this is our incident ray. Your traces must have arrows indicating the direction of the light, the direction of travel of the light. So this is a 30 degrees. This is supposed to be our incident angle, 30 degrees. The next thing is to replace this guy back to this place and then remove these two pins, come to this side, view. So you have to view these two pins from this point. You bend down and you view them from this end. You make sure this pin is in line with what you are seeing in the glass. So this is the point. This is point one. And this is a this is point. Don't make too much holes. This is point two. Good. And so you quickly put this is as your pin three. And this is your pin 4. You remove this. And then you, you also remove this glass. And then you join this line. You join this line. There are two holes here, this hole and this hole. You make sure the line pass in between the hole. Not at the edge, but at the center of the hole. So good. The next thing is to draw another number here. This number. Perpendicular to the surface. Put a dot here and a dot here. Good. This is your normal. Sorry, my diagram may not be that perfect, but this is it. My drawing may not be that perfect, but this is it. This is a normal. So, 
The next thing is to join this line. There is, you join this line and this. Join this point and this point, which is supposed to be our refracted ray. Good. So at this point, you have your incident ray, your refracted ray, and then your emergent ray. Good. So this angle is equal to this angle. So this is your R1 and this is your R2 and this is your angle of what emergence. Good. The next thing is to measure this angle. You choose to measure this angle or this angle. So we remove these things. We are done with the things. So you can place your protractor like this. Your 90 degrees will be at this point. And then we are making use of this line here. So from what I have here, this is 10. And this is a 19. My R is 19 degrees. Good. My R is 19 degrees. So I write my R is 19 degrees. So with this information, we are good to go. From Snell's law, from this particular equation, so we can now apply that this the same thing as the sine 30 divided by sine sine 19. So from a refracting depth of this glass from air to glass is the same thing as as sine 30 which is 0 0.5 is equal to 0. 5 divided by sine 19 that would give us uh, 0 0.3256 so we have 0 0.5 divided by 0. 3, 2, 5, 6. <laughs> we got 1.5356. Give me a round of applause. <laughs> so, therefore, verify as I said, we have 1.5356. Five, three. Approximately, approximately, the refractive index of this guy in my hand is approximately one point five. Precisely, that is it. As simple as A, B, C. See you next in another video. Don't forget to subscribe and share. And uh, also make others to know about physics with Ben. In the next video, I'll be teaching you how to find the refractive index of a triangular glass prism with a particular formula. Click in the description box below to see the video for all the theory. God bless you. Bye-bye.